you want a treat, don't you? Sorry, Eddie, but I've got a hungry little dog that wants a treat. Come here. Sit. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> you are so good. She learned that trick when she was maybe eight weeks old and she hadn't forgotten. Lulu, loving best dishes. <laughs> Speaking about loving best dishes, y'all. Uh, at Paula Dean's Family Kitchen, kitchens, cause there's what now, we got six of them, Eddie, or? All right, let's see, let's name them. We've got, um, Nashville, Pigeon Forge, Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach, Branson, Branson Missouri, Foley, Alabama, Panama City. So I think it's six, six. right? Yeah. Pigeon Forge, which was the very first one, very first Paula Dean kitchen. And uh, Nash, Panama City was our newest to open and it opened the 8th of March. So uh, I understand people are really enjoying it. Spring break down there. And uh, so a lot of people are popping in for some of that fabulous fried chicken and pot roast. And that's what I'm gonna share with y'all today. The recipe for our pot roast just the way Paula, Dean, Paula Dean's Family Kitchen makes it. So, I'm gonna heat up my skillet. I've got that on and I'm gonna put a little bit of oil. And uh, in the restaurants, we slow cook meats. In fact, I used to um, cook them in a crock pot all the time. I loved putting it in in the morning and, you know, taking it out at supper time. And it was always so delicious. It made the house smell so good. Well, because of uh, my lack of time, I'm gonna cook this in my uh, pressure cooker. Because how long have I had that pressure cooker, that line of pressure cookers? Five or six at, years? At least five years, yeah. Yeah, at least five years. And uh, when we got that up and running, you would not believe how much I used this, y'all. Uh, where I used to be kind of leery of them, this one is foolproof. If you don't have the top on right, it, it, it just won't work. You don't have to worry about, well, gosh, did I put that on right? You have but one way to put it on and that's the right way. So. I've got my chuck roast, and chuck roast is probably, no, it ain't probably. It's my favorite, favorite roast out there. So, I wanna make sure I tell y'all this just like uh, Paula Dean's Family Kitchen does it. All right, we're gonna uh, sprinkle the roast on all sides with the house seasoning. And then we're gonna sear that into it. And we don't want to, this is a pretty piece of meat. I hope the underside is as pretty as the top side. You know, sometimes they trick me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Eddie? <laughs> Have you ever been tricked? You got a surprise on the other side. Oh, listen. I have been surprised so many times. In fact, I'm gonna go in here and put a little bit more, a little bit more house seasoning. Okay, so here we go into our hot, hot skillet. Apron and just hold it up there because I don't want to get grease marks on my pink shirt. The thing about a chuck roast, y'all, is it's one of the cheapest roasts that you can buy. Also, the most flavorful. But, if I try to cook that like medium rare and serve it as a steak, 
you would need to bring in some extra teeth from somewhere because it would be so tough that you couldn't chew it. But by us cooking it slow and long, whoa! The secret to a chuck roast is cooking it a long time. We're ready to put in all of our ingredients. I've got two nice cloves of garlic. Smash those and throw those in. This is a foolproof recipe, y'all. You can't screw it up. And instead of cooking it for uh, eight hours, I'm gonna cook it probably 80 minutes. Okay, so I like the idea of me being able to sit down to pot roast in an hour and a half. That's just great. So I've got white wine. That looks like about a half a cup. I've got two bay leaves. The recipe calls for three, but these are big bay leaves and bay leaves can be very pungent. So uh, I'm just on, only put two. And I'm using a granulated beef bouillon. Let's see, do I have everything? <laughs> And then I'm gonna add my onions. This is gonna be so stinking good, y'all. Uh, and what I like to do with my leftover pot roast, I love to make my shepherd's pie out of what's left. And it will knock you into next week, it's so good. I almost like it. I like it just as good in, in shepherd's pies. I do like this over rice. All right. Now we're gonna put our, in a cream of mushroom soup, we're just gonna dump it all right there on top of that roast. And then I'm gonna clean out my can with a little water. But you'll be amazed at just how much liquid is gonna show up in there. The, the liquid that comes out of the roast is just gonna be crazy uh, how much you get. So I don't wanna put too, too much water getting this hot. You know me, I want every drop off it. <laughs> okay, now if you wanted to, you could add some fresh mushrooms or you could putting carrots or anything like that. But when, to me, when you start adding carrots and things like that, to me, my pot roast then goes into, turns into like a beef stew. And I don't want anything other than the onions and the seasonings to, to play with this one. So, I'm just gonna shut that lid. And I'm gonna show you how easy this comes together. All right, let's see. There's the arrow. Let me turn this so you can see it. I'm just telling all you young girls, don't be afraid of uh, today's pressure cookers because they work so great. All right, where'd my arrow go? There it is. So I'm gonna line up that arrow with the open signal. I'm going to turn it and that's it. That is it. No fooling. Uh, so I'm not going to have a, an explosion anywhere. All right. Like, like it used to happen with the old timies. So I'm going to put this on one hour. 
No, I'm gonna put it on 75 minutes. And then I'll check it, and if it needs a little longer, I'll just run it a little bit longer. So I know for a fact, Jack, that I'll see y'all back in 75 minutes to check on this. If you don't have time to do that, just go to Paula Dean's Family Kitchen in one of our locations. Our pot roast is ready. And it looks so incredibly delicious. 75 minutes. 75 minutes. Start to finish. Uh-huh, and you're eating like a king. Now, you can smell so good. <laughs> it smells so good. All right, now I want to show y'all the broth that this made. You can see how thin it is. So, if you're like me and you like it more like a gravy, all I have to do is mix like two tablespoons of cornstarch along with like three tablespoons of cold water, bring this to a ball and pour in your slurry and you'll have a nice thick gravy. In fact, my pressure cooker gets so hot, uh, usually you would have to take it, pour it in another boiler and bring it to a ball on the stove. But like I said, this pressure cooker gets so hot that I can actually make my gravy right here. It will come back to a ball in this pressure cooker. It's, it's that good. So if you like it thick, a little corn starch and water, we'll fix that right up. All right, I'm <laughs> I was gonna put this away, but I'm gonna, <laughs> look at that. Oh, great grannies. If y'all are able to ever uh, make it into a Paula Dean family kitchen restaurant, you won't be disappointed if you, add, uh, if you order the pot roast. So, happy eating y'all. <laughs> That's so good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.